Hi everyone, welcome, I'm Snowkiss, and this is another episode on our Endless Space 2 um, Let's Play series here. Uh, in As the Sofans. What is it? Yeah, the Sofans. Um, so, we are trying to get this uh, quest ship. Let's see if we, we can find it over here. Trying to get it to um, get to one of our hangars so we can finish the quest. Of course, there's uh, just another battle. Uh, let's uh, not watch that and uh, get it over with as so quickly as possible. Letting the game process the fight here. Okay, cool. Another battle. Um, we are gonna have a problem with our first detector here uh, dying soon. Hopefully it doesn't die now. Uh, that would be too bad, especially since they've gained... We lost it. Fuck, alright. They really are going at us, at us here. Nice, okay. Can we... Can we get these guys home as soon as possible? That would be nice. Wouldn't it be nice? Um... Alright, so um, what else are we doing? We're trying to get to Lyra so that we can... Okay, so they're gonna arrive next term so that we can uh, try to assimilate those guys. We got another population on Imnos, which is good. This system is gonna be quite big, so we want to grow it as, soon, as quickly as possible. Okay, so we got another system improvement here. Um, for which we need... Cool. Okay, uh, we need... We're gonna need antimatter. And we haven't even found that yet. So, yep, yeah, actually we have. We have found it in Jinder. So, um, what do we need to exploit that? Gamma absorption. Let's... Um, how do you search now again? Gamma. Okay, let's headline for that, um, after everything else is done. Um, scientists still prevailing, they have lost two uh, percentage points, I believe. Militarists up a lot. Kinda like how uh, this actually corresponds to the actual percentages. Uh, pacifists are pretty much equal as they were before, I believe. Everyone else is on the wayside. Um, we found a new luxury resource, Transvine. That's nice. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so one of the problems with having sofas in your empire is that the little eggheads seem to have a particular genius for goofing off. Alright, uh, hardly a week goes by without a new, without news of new rehopped uh, sofa and youngsters rampaging through town or explosion of increasingly exotic colors and smells bombarding your residential area. These guys need to get a job or you need to find a way to put them in their place. Okay, so let's do this one, I guess. Uh, it seemed much easier um, other than um, coordinating all of our colonies to build the uh, science buildings. Uh, let's go here then. Then let's... Where is our other fleet? Have we lost a, uh, a ship? Have we lost a ship? So no, that we had another ship before. What the hell? Because okay, so they've lost quite a lot of points, it seems. Maybe quite a lot of hit points, it seems. I, I wasn't aware of that. Um, which which colonies do we have? To, did we have to do this in? Um, those darn kids. Uh, what's the reward? Can't even see the on oh, the webster. Okay. Um Imnos and Indusa. So Indusa is fine in that we could simply build What do we have? Christ. Uh what do we have here? 
uh, we have t two accelerators and a magnet, so we need another magnet in inducer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send these guys here, then we're gonna send one magnet to uh, one accelerator to uh, induce and the others to Imnos, and then we're gonna hanger them. Right, uh, our quest ship is getting here soonish. Um, anything else we wanted to do? Don't believe so. Okay. Cool. Some extra uh, influence, never bad. I know I was supposed to um, try to simulate the, the Calgirls in Lyra, but we're gonna do that as soon as we finish this quest. Um, so let's try to uh, do that. Can I wanna look at our research? We've. Um, Wow, that's really impressive. Um, we focused a lot on science here. Which is good, and then another... Okay, so we are gonna level up our uh, DECA class hulls later on. In a couple of... Um, couple of techs. I'm actually gonna move that forward. We should try to get more um, science uh, buildings up and running. We need one accelerator to... Uh... Okay, so you can't split the fleet, it seems. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Uh, go to Indusa. And uh, you go to Imnos. And then in a couple of turns we're gonna... ...to do this. Right, so this should be enough time. Wait. Returns. Right, cool. Um, let's take this moment to look over our uh, building queues. Intergalactic Technology Center. So we should try to focus this one down as soon as possible. 36 turns. You know what? Uh, let's give it a try. How, how long does two turns? Uh, I guess two turns isn't gonna matter that much. We are actually losing food here. Uh, is there something we can do about that? No, no food. After the adaptive uh, technologies thing, we could possibly uh, buy a food, um, the food building, what's it called? Uh, Farsighted crops in Magress, just to try to boost our food production. Um, that's good. That's good. We don't really need money, but it's good anyway. What's this? Uh, science Gansa. Right, and we don't have the... What was it called? Uh, antimatter. So... Uh, right, um, everything looks fine then. We are waiting for Cancer to become a colony and we're waiting for Oshi to become a colony. Then we're also gonna uh, strike out for um, Yandra, I guess, because we do need that resource and also Misar and Noelpo, but not as those are not as important. Okay, who is waiting for nothing? Uh, let's uh, disband you then. So we do have you in the hangar here. So now we just have to wait for uh, this um, magnet to be done and uh, this fleet to arrive here. Did not end the turn, my bad. Okay, so we actually got a Deuvian in Megras. That's uh, interesting. I'm 
so much things happening at the same time. Um, it seems like we actually lost here. Or did we? Maybe this was friendly. This was amicable, now we're friendly. Alright, fine. Uh, I thought we went down one. Um, we're gonna try to assimilate these guys uh, soonish as well. But we're gonna, we're gonna have to um, consolidate our fleet first. Uh, two more turns for our magnet to be done up here, so uh, in the meantime, let's disband these guys. Uh, you are... Right, so we, we finished that quest. And we get, we get uh, clever bro probes, nice. Now we are chapter 3. We can either reach our re race our empire manpower to uh, that. Explore 75% of the galley system, we could do that. Or uh, raise the total population to 31. So let's um, take a look here. Our max right now is... I'm guessing you can see that here. Okay, so our max is far too low to do the military one. Um, population wise, how do I see that? Well, we, we are far from enough population as well, and the other one was explore enough. And while, while, I like, while I'd like to do that, I don't think we have a strong enough exploration fleet. We could take a look at our exploration ships here, uh, the detector, see if maybe we can develop them somehow. The weapon's not the same, uh, that's the same, and this is the same, so I'm not really sure what we could do on that front either. So let's just um, disregard that for now. We don't have any dark litter, so that doesn't affect us. Uh, so instead, let's 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 go for this one because we are uh, guaranteed to reach 31 population eventually. And for that, we get a law called the Dust Trap, which gives us 100% um, dust and sterile. That one would be real nice, though. Um, But sure, and uh, dust is nice. Okay, so your scientists have detected a heavily damaged ship of unknown design entering your home system. The ship is unresponsive to hails, and sensors have detected that engines are in critical overload and will soon self destruct. Scanning the ship, you discover that it contains not only a dense computer a core containing untold secrets, but also passengers in stasis who have been infected by an unknown plague. You can only save the core or the passengers before the ship implodes. Um, I think saving the inhabitants is more important considering we have a uh, we have another quest um, which uh, which we need uh, population for anyway. So let's go for that. That should take. Uh, it was a Megrus, I believe. All right, uh, we have negative food, so it's gonna take uh, a while to get enough food, unfortunately. But I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, we only really need to, have, we only really, we only really need to wait for the adaptive colonies thing to uh, finish up, so that we can uh, build another food producing producing building in um, in Magres, Magres. Okay, so uh, a new election. Let's see how it turned out. Scientists gained a lot, so did the militarists, but the scientists gained a whole, whole fucking lot. Um, okay, so we can actually look where the votes went. Some industrialist votes went to the scientists, some uh, ecologists went to the pacifists, and some other of the industrialists went to the militarists, so that's interesting. Now we have a potent uh, scientific party here. Could we possibly... We could enact another law. Is there another law which we want to enact? Preferably one with no upkeep. So this one is really good for us. And frankly, I think we're gonna go for it. Um... Yeah, we are, actually. Because the extra science is great and we don't really need the money. So we're gonna take a look at how much um, 
science we develop we uh, produce soon. Okay, so uh, cancer finally turned into a colony. Let's do the all the usual stuff with focusing on um, uh, production first, and then uh, colonize what's left, and then do all of the other things. Uh, hopefully, you've got that that build order um, memorized by now. Um, okay, so science we produce eight hundred ninety nine per turn now. So uh, I think we got quite a bit of a boost there. Okay, so sure, let's focus more on science then. Now we have gained another 40 or so points. Nice. Um, got another Deuvian here uh, on Megrath. No, is, this, is this not Megres? It is. Did we lose them? Did I read it incorrectly again? I might have. Um, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what, another turn, then this is done as well. Sounds good. Not really sure which ship uh, moved anywhere, but... They did. Okay. Uh, competitive quest started. Founders keepers. A system. The system Nusakan has recently um, became a flashpoint in the Gal's wide struggle for dominance. Alright, so we should. Um, the mission is to uh, control or colonize uh, Nusakan first. Uh, where is that then? Far too far away. No. Um, not a chance we can re reach it. Okay, so now we gain the Webster building, which we can build if we want uh, more approval. We've also, also gained um, Sophons in Megres. Oof, sorry. Um, so that should be nice. What are you doing? Right, it's our detectors. So let's... Uh, these are our exploration fleet. Let's send them out to auto-explore them. I greet you in the name so of this the is four the families. money gaining empire, the trade and financial empire, focused empire. So I guess they are over here somewhere. So that's good to know. <clears throat> Hopefully we, generally, um, if I remember correctly, they are kind of pacifist as well. It's us, so we shouldn't really be in a conflict with them uh, yet anyway. These guys shift so fucking dramatically between each uh, contact. Now they're wary. As well. Before they were uh, threatening, they they can't really decide. It seems you can actually see they are, there's a mechanic in this. What do you sound like? Which is called screaming. influence pressure. I'm not really sure how it works, but I guess it might simply be how much influence you have, or something. I'm not really sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell your friend. These are diplomatic channels, not social media. Hmm. Let's see if we can uh, <clears throat> make peace with them. We can actually, and it it will cost us quite a lot of money here, but I'm sure it's worth it actually. Um, anything we want here? Don't think so. All right. So, well, map sharing would be nice, but uh, we can't really afford that. Uh, that amount of um, influence. So uh, let's uh, settle for some peace. These guys look cool. Um, kind of a space medieval Japan or something. Warmonger, uh, hunting culture, alright. Uh, 
a lot of manpower. That's nice. Um, don't think we had to do that before. Sure, let's uh, try to make make him uh, a bit happy towards us. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Actually, getting this uh, technology, this uh, building would be great. Um, You're one of our favorite fish in this galactic sea. Okay, so they kind of wanna, they wanna propose something. I'm all for that. <clears throat> okay, um, sorry, I was reading for myself. Uh, though Sahar at first appears to be as another dry planet, devoid of anything other than the simplest of life forms, and faint geometric patterns that beg to be investigated seem to be etched on its surface. Initial scans indicate that surface ruins do not appear to be related to these patterns. There is clearly a story here, some form of civilization, but nothing uh, remains that can easily be documented from orbit. Only excavation ex and exploration might potentially reveal might, what might, what may have once existed. Alright. Um, Is this their home plan or something? No, it isn't. No idea what that was about. Sahar. Not really sure. Right, uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna end it here. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you've liked the episode. And uh, if you did, please leave a like so that other might see it and uh, watch it and uh, like it as well. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more of my content. Uh, Suggest things if you want to uh, see me cover other games and play other games. So and uh, yeah, hopefully you have a you'll have a continuously nice day, and hopefully I see you next time. Goodbye.